Hey guys, this is Colby. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to model a sci-fi cruiser inside Blender. It's going to be pretty basic and pretty beginner friendly. We're just going to use a couple image references to help us create a custom shape. So let's get started. So starting off, I'm going to use a couple image references online. Uh, you can use whatever you want for your spaceship. Uh, I'm going to be making a sci-fi cruiser. So that's going to be a pretty large ship. So I have a couple of references I can use. Uh, you can use some from Star Wars based on the Star Destroyer. Uh, there's also a lot from like video games like Elite Dangerous or Star Citizen, which can give you a good idea of how to make a sci-fi cruiser. So the added image references, just press Shift A, Image, Reference, and select wherever you downloaded it, and just import them into the scene. So I have like four downloaded. So I'm going to be using three references. And we're going to basically create something that's kind of custom and original based on three references that have already been made. And I'm going to switch to the pen tool for annotates. And we can start drawing up the shape of the ship that we want. I'd recommend just keeping it re uh, really simple and basic. So that way you can add details later on in the modeling stage. So just a couple of things to know before we get started. Uh, left click is to go ahead and draw a stroke. Holding down control and left clicking will erase and pressing control Z will undo any stroke you just did. So just know those three things because that's all I'm really going to be using for drawing up this reference. So I'm going to do a little time lapse. So I'm going to see you here in a second. So we have the overall silhouette of our ship. So now we can start drawing on top of it, like in this section here, and adding some key elements like a bridge uh, and just some extra areas like this. So this is as far as, as I'm going to go with the planning stage. Uh, I think this is good enough for me. I have a good idea of what I want the ship to look like on the side and below. It's basically just a flat uh, ship. This is like a, just a flat plane pretty much. Kind of like this. It's just a long like strip. So we can go ahead and start modeling. So let's switch back to this tool here. Press Shift A. Create a cube. And we're just going to basically adjust the shape of the cube to match the shape of this bottom section here first. And we can start adding the upper layers of the actual ship itself. So let's get started. So just place the cube right in the middle. You can start wherever you want. I'm going to start from the engines and kind of work my way up to the front. So let's go to edit mode on this cube. Press Control R down the middle. Left click twice. Let's select half of the faces here. Let's press Shift Alt in face mode. Let's press 3 on your keyboard. And then select this set of faces here. And select this face. Just hold down Shift and select. Press Delete. Faces. Let's go back into edit mode or object mode, I mean. Add a modifier, add a mirror modifier, and turn on clipping. So my image reference is a little bit asymmetrical. But I'm just doing my best to try to keep it uh, aligned with this cube and try to match it the best I can. So we're going to start from this section here. Let's add a kind of a side plane here. So make it to the side. And if you don't know how to drag faces, you can select this little tool here and drag one of these arrows. Or you can press G and move it wherever you want. And if you want to pinpoint an axis. So say you want to just only move it on one axis while you're moving it, press G and then X, move it on X, G, Y, and the Y, and then G, Z to move it up and down, just like that. So those are the basic controls for moving objects and faces. 
And the other thing you need to know for modeling is just to how to extrude. So select this face, press E to extrude. You can press E and then X, move it on the X axis, or E and then Y, move it over here, and then E and Z, just like before, the G tool. That's all uh, you need to know for modeling. Other than that, I'm going to do a little time lapse to kind of show the process of modeling the ship. And I'll cover any parts that might be a little bit more confusing. So see you here in a second. So for this section here, it's a little bit skinnier. It kind of goes inward, goes straight, and then it goes back outward again. So we're going to drag this face, press E to extrude, and move it on the Z axis. In this case, just to try to match to the reference. And drag this edge here, to grab it, press X arrow, and just drag it inward. And let's do the same. Again, so press E to extrude. Let's move it up. It's blue arrow. Press E again to extrude. And let's move it up. Tab bits. Grab this edge. And just match it to here. Match this little angular face. And we're just basically, basically going to be doing this for the rest of the chip. So to make this ship taper off towards the nose, you can just grab this edge here, press S and Y, just make it skinnier on the Y axis. You can grab some of these faces here, do the same. So S then Y, just make it a bit skinnier. You can go to side view to help you out to get a better view. So here, just kind of make it a little bit skinnier. It's really up to you how you want your ship to look. So we have most of the ship done on this first level, but the rest is pretty easy. So basically for engines, we're just gonna add separate cubes. And then for the bridge in this section below it, it's just another kind of set of cubes. The bridge is probably the only part that's a little bit more detailed than the rest. But other than that, we've already gotten through the hardest part. So the rest of the video should be pretty easy. So for the engines, I'm just going to create a cube. So I'm going to press shift and then right click and right click on this little spot here. That'll set the cursor to this section here. That's where we're going to be able to spawn our cube. Let's press shift A, mesh, and then cube. Let's just scale it down a bit and move it, match it to the reference. So I'm going to just do one side of the ship first. Let's make it a bit skinnier. Just go into edit mode and kind of adjust the shape of everything a bit. So now we can go ahead and mirror this to the other side. Let's go back into object mode and add modifier. We're going to press mirror. Set the mirror object as the cube. So now we have it on the other side and it's symmetrical. So from here, you can just adjust the shape of the engines. You so the way you see fit. So I'm gonna add a little hole in the little cube here. So go back to edit mode, grab this face here, press I to inset, and we're going to press E to extrude upward. So press E, left click, and then we're going to move it up a bit. This will be the inward engine area. This is where we're going, where we're going to have like flames uh, or like a blue like glow kind of sticking out of it. Now we can start modeling this second level here. It's the larger piece under the bridge. So again, just create a cube. Uh, to reset the cursor back to the center, we're going to select the hole of the ship, press Shift S, and cursor to select it. That'll reset it to pretty much the origin of the ship. Press Shift A, create a cube, and just scale it down a tad bit. We're going to do the same here. We're going to mirror it. So press Control R, 
in edit mode. Left click twice down the middle, delete half. Go back in object mode, add a mirror modifier, and turn on clipping. And we're going to only do this on one side of the ship, because this is going to be the top here. This is going to be the bottom of the ship. So we only need this on one side. And just kind of match it to your reference. So just drag them, press E to extrude again. And just move it to the side, to the back, and just match it to your reference. So I'm going to have the front of this section here kind of taper off again. So make this move a little bit inward. Match the kind of angle of the ship as well. So move this down a bit. You can also keep it straight if you want. So say for this section, you want the bridge right here. And this will just kind of like taper off on its own. So to make this look a little bit nicer as well, I'm going to select these set of edges here in edge mode and press Control B. Add a bevel and just make it a little bit nicer. So now we can start adding the bridge. Just do the same thing. I'm going to add a cube. And we're going to add a mirror modifier to it. Just move it into position right here. Move it up. And scale down a tad bit. And just do the same process over again. So I'm actually going to adjust the shape of the bridge a little bit. I think it's a little bit too blocky and low poly. So I'm actually make it a little bit uh, better looking to my eyes. Uh, I'm just going to press E to extrude. Let's move this section forward. Scale down a tad bit. I'm going to add a bevel modifier to pretty much the entire top part here. Control B. I'm going to move this part down. And do something like that. I think that looks pretty cool. You can make this, you know, down if you want to. It's up to you. So at this point, we're basically done with the whole of the ship. And later on, we can add some details to it, but in a separate video. Uh, so now, I guess I'm ready to go ahead and delete the annotation that we made earlier. So hold down Control and just erase the entire annotation. All right, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below. I'll try to answer them. Uh, next time, we'll be working on the details for the ship, just adding you know, a lot more details on the surface. As you can see here, there's a lot of little extra little things you can add. So I'll do a separate video on that next time. Uh, but anyways, I uh, hope you all guys found this video useful, and see you guys next time.